Episode 17. Moranjo has had her ultimate goal seemingly revealed at last. Moranjo has planned to kill Haling, Daida, and Boji in one way or another, and crumble the kingdom. Manipulated people and killed many already. Yet her dream and goal is simply to go on another adventure with His Majesty King Boss, like the good old days. Following the themes of the show, I can see the show build its sympathy for the backstabbing witch. She's seemingly been the cause of nearly all the conflict in the show thus far, but the show has never let her be the only villain. The silhouette trapped in a mirror has been humanized repeatedly throughout the uprising. In scenes like her dance with King Boss Dida, or even just the second opening giving a tease of her past, as well as the mysterious puppet girl that continues to accompany Dida, who we haven't seen in a while, but I guess he can't do much at the moment. She's also in many of Boss's flashbacks, so we know she's an important figure in Boji's life in a way, even unknowingly. While Boji has a meeting with Oaken, Moranjo continues to show cracks in her composure. The present Moranjo has overthrown the kingdom and done unspeakable things. Or rather, things I don't care to list again. During Boji's fight, she gives advice to Kage to pass along. We know it isn't her being cheeky or confident. She surprised herself by what she said, then continues to chat with Kage, offering more information. Kage's passionate explanation on Boji's commitment to the fight also conjures up memories of Moranjo's own childhood and her mother. There's not a character in the show without some kind of sympathetic or deeper background. Everyone has their own beliefs and motivations. Sometimes those motivations rub against someone else's. But maybe they don't have to. Maybe if they could just open up and talk a little. Maybe they can talk about their moms. They all had great ones.